if you hold any Bitcoin Cash, you gotta keep watching because I'm gonna show you the truth about the price action, where it is going, where are the consequences, and all the other answers that are, as usual, hidden in the charts. Let's roar! <laughs> Now I got some good news and some bad news, which one do you want first? How about the good one? Uh, there is none. Sorry for the bad joke. This is 3 day chart of Bitcoin Cash. It's very hard to find any positives on this chart. You can see a clear downtrend all the way from April and this point I'm showing you right now is the 1st of April. Haha. <laughs> very funny Bitcoin Cash. And if we connect that high of April to all of those April's Fool's jokes and the resistance that we had in this month, August, we're getting a clear downtrend. Still, your narrative should remain bearish. Clue number one that you should be considering is this volume, ladies and gentlemen. This is, let's consider it, an interest of people in Bitcoin Cash. So look at this pretty big interest that was here at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter. Since then it faded and are now living in the abyss of nothingness. Just do notice how significantly lower this is than the previous months. A white line always giving us the most simplest and honest answer. People, this is moving average. Which one are no let go moving average? It's taking into account 21 past candles and it's telling us significant stuff. We crossed below it here on the 4th of April. Since then we were living many, many, I would say weeks, but it was months below it. This was super bearish narrative when we continue to the downside. Here on this candle, we show signs of life. It was last month, broke above it, lived a few, well, I would say weeks above it, sparked some hopes in the investors, but then again, plunged below it. This is our reality at the moment. We are below that moving average. It's showing us that a possible move to the downside, not like this proportion, but the direction. This is one thing that you should take from this moving average. A move like this is still in the cards. At the moment, we are standing at $116. And this moving average is standing at $127. So even move to those regions could be a rebounce to the downside. This is the target number one. You know what? Let's circle it down to $100. Yeah, prepare yourself for the $100. Here it is, the lows of last month. Here, BCH showed a supportive, let's say, behavior. It could be proven one more time. Maybe we'll go to $100 and then continue after that. Double bottom, higher and higher. It is a possibility. Now, unfortunately, regarding the global economics, Bitcoin and friends, it is possible that we break $100 and dip below it. Don't be super shocked. I know it won't be pleasant, but this is a hard, cold reality. On the contrary side, to the upside, we are having a line of $155 as a possible scenario. Now, I'm giving you all kinds of scenarios in this video. Maybe we'll go to that one. Maybe we will live a few months killing you to the boredom inside of this rectangle, let's say it. Maybe that is the Bitcoin's cash plan. So what should be your final interpretation of this video? This is a Fibonacci retracement tool from the highs to the lows. When we bounce to the upside, we bounce right into the 38.2 retracement of $163. And unfortunately, it also broke 23.6% and $133. One word should still be in your vocabulary. Bearish. And if you ask me what video should be in your library, I'm pointing you at this one. Because here you will find your point of interest. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in that one.